Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Chanel Angelina and in today's video I'm doing a closet clear out of my coat closet. I don't really know what you would call this but it's just like my little haul slash coat closet. It's pretty much gotten completely out of control. I haven't decluttered or organized anything in there since I moved in here over a year and a half ago. I'm in the nesting phase and I just want every little nook and cranny in my house to be completely clean and organized. So that's where I'm at today. I will show you guys the inside. It's not pretty. Prep yourself, brace yourself. I bought a ton of bins from the Dollar Tree and from Big Lots and I'm just gonna go ham and throw a bunch of crap away, donate a bunch of crap, and put a bunch of crap away. That's what we're doing today. If you guys want some closet, motivation organization cleaning motivation if you guys want to get motivated then keep watching this video all right are you guys ready to see the madness ah it's so scary oh my gosh look at all the stuff i have to go through it seems very daunting, but I'm just going to pull everything out minus the shoes because obviously the shoes are already nice and organized on the door. I showed this in a vlog. I just have a bunch of baby stuff that I have to go through, a bunch of Harlow's old things, decorations. Look at all of this. This is gonna be interesting yet very satisfying at the end. So this is what we have to work with right here, people. So I'm starting out this whole process by just taking everything out of the closet. That way I have a completely clean slate to work with and I can organize everything into separate categories such as the keep pile, donate, or throw away pile. All right, you guys, so it had been a really long time since the carpet in there had seen the light of day, so I just wanted to make sure I got really nice and good in there with the vacuum. And as you can see, I cleared everything out of that closet. Now, oh, look at Harlow's little bikini. So cute. Um, I'm just going through everything and <laughs> pulling out random items and just kind of separating everything into things I want to keep, obviously, and things I want to donate, stuff like that. Yes, honey, I found a brand new highlighter while I was decluttering, so I was super stoked on that. You just honestly never know what you'll find while you're decluttering and reorganizing, so that should give you guys even more motivation to get it done. I know it looks like a complete disaster right now, but there is a method to my madness. So these two black trash bags are donate. The white one is throw away. I have another pile of throw away over by the door. This is all keep, 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 keep. This whole pile is basically keep. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go through everything, organize it, and put it in its proper place. Okay, 
so this is the finished result of the closet everything is way more organized every item has its home in here now which <laughs> I really like it is obviously way better than it was before previously you guys it was a freaking nightmare in here I didn't even want to open this closet but um yeah everything is way more organized now so I didn't do anything to this side um you guys already saw that we had this here so this I put up the other day I put it up in one of my vlogs uh, just a shoe rack. Obviously, it holds mine and Harlow's shoes in here. And then I definitely want to get something for the bottom here for these shoes down here. Maybe just like a nice little shelving system or something like that. Let's start from the top. So in this bag right here, I have a bunch of like bikinis and just like, you know, random stuff that doesn't really fit me right now, but I know will fit me in the future. So just older bikinis that are in there. And I guess I could have put them in a bin, but whatever, they're in there. Um, and then up here, there's no way this stuff could fit in bins. So I just put it in this old Ikea bag. Um, it's basically just like old decorative stuff or seasonal decorative stuff so valentine's um there's some easter stuff in there so pretty much just all of my seasonal home decor is in there and then moving down to the second shelf in this bin right here we have my son's clothes so just pretty much like a stockpile of harlow's old things that he can wear harlow and hudson's old things that my son can wear so i'm just starting a little pile for him in there in here in this bin right here we have my fanny pack we've got a microphone this is kind of just like a random little bin we have a old little wallet um just you know random stuff that i just didn't really have a spot for so i just put right there and then in this one we have nails and things that i didn't necessarily want to get rid of but um i have like a old planner in there i like to keep my old planners just to have a memory of you know milestones and things like that of things that I've accomplished with YouTube and et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I have like old nails and stuff in here. And then in this one, what do we have in here? Oh yeah, just a bunch of books are in here. So I really am into like self-help books and motivational books, stuff like that. So I've got all my books in there. And for the most part, I just like to do audio books, but those are the ones that I keep in there moving on down to this portion of the closet we have some coats because after all this is a coat closet we have harlow's little um floating device thingy that we put on her when well when i put on her when i take her to the pool and in these three bins right here clearly you can tell they are all harlow's um we have a bin for coloring so all of her coloring books are now nicely organized right here so i know exactly where they are where to grab them when we want to color i have a little book right here for her um this is an a toddler activity book if you guys have not checked this out i highly recommend it it gives you just a bunch of like fun little activities to do with your toddler and just you know fun little things to do at home with your kids and it gives you guys like a messy messiness factor so it's pretty cool i like it a lot i put that in here we have some paints chalk crayons i know where all of her big crayons play-doh paints paint brushes are in here so that is kind of like the arts and crafts bin and then this is just random toys that she has i already went through all of these she does play and use she plays with and uses all of these toys so i decided to keep those and then just the broom dustpan and broom and then the swiffer because i didn't know where else to put that so yeah um that's pretty much it for the coat closet so hopefully you guys liked it um if you guys have any suggestions on a different way to organize things or how you would do it differently please let me know in the comments down below i would love to know i'm not the most organized person in the world but i do try and now that i'm pregnant i am nesting for sure so I'm really proud of myself. I got two big old bags over there that I need to donate and I took out two bags of trash. So yeah, um, I think it turned out 
pretty well. All right, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more content like this, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said before, if you guys would organize things differently, what you guys would do, if you guys have any tips, tricks, or whatever else to help me organize and stay organized. Like I said, I am pregnant, so I'm nesting. I'm ready to organize every single part of my house. So stay tuned for more organizational videos. And yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would honestly mean the world to me if you did. Make sure your bell notifications are on. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.